Okay, welcome back to our Fusa Limited question. And this time around, we're going to be looking at required B. So required B asks you to discuss with reference to suitable calculations the financial risk of the components division of Fusa Limited. So analyzing the required, you are asked to discuss. And to discuss where relevance should be supported by calculations. So what does this, this concept mean, linking a discussion to supporting calculations? So fundamental, what we are supposed to mainly bring out with this supporting, sorry, the discussion. But to substantiate your discussion, you could include supporting calculations. And what am I discussing? Financial risks. So it was very fundamental to say, do you know what we mean by financial risk? So I could see in some of the skills that I looked at, some of you are starting to talk about things like exchange rate, things like risk of failing to collect from customers. But is that financial risk? What gives rise to financial risk? We then need a, you expected you to link it to the capital structure. So if you look at the capital structure, ordinary debt and equity. And the fact that a company has got debt, it will give rise to financial risk. So now we are looking at financial risk for who? For the components division. So it means that you need, we need to go back to our case study on information on the component division and, and check whether with any information on the, on the debt funding of the component division. If the common division had any debt, automatically we're supposed to think about financial risks. So let's go to our case study. So in the income statement, we, we had finance costs. What does this tell me? It tells me that the component division had debt. Where do I, do I find the information on the debt? Not six. So let's go to not six. So not six says finance costs consist of the following: the bench interest, bank of adapt interest, to give a total of thirty nine point one thousand. Then I'm given further details around the debentures. Debentures are redeemable on thirty September twenty eighteen, and the bank of adapt limit is two hundred million and is repayable on demand. Interest on the bank over that is payable at the prime lending rate, that is currently 9.25% plus 2.5%. So now looking at debt funding, what gives rise to the financial risks? So debt funding, the main thing is, are we going to be, are we going to be able to repay both the capital amount plus interest? So the arising the ability of the corporate division to make those repayments. So how do I analyze these financial risks? So it means I needed to do the calcs. What calcs should I have used? Ratios. Which ratios gives me information on the financial risk of a company? Gearing. Interest curve. Interest curve. The degree of financial leverage. Degree of financial leverage. So these were the, some of the calculations we expected to do to analyze the financial risk of the company. So gearing from the information provided, we didn't have the statement of financial position. So we couldn't calculate the gearing. But interest cover, we could calculate. Why? Because we're given the earnings before interest and tax or the profit before, before tax. So to calculate interest cover, you want to use the earnings before interest and tax. So you are now taking out the interest and then dividing by the actual interest to get your interest cover. Then the, the degree of financial leverage, what is this now? We are simply saying the earnings before interest and tax divided by the profit after tax. So it be, divided by the profit under, after interest but before tax. And then your discussion should then look at those numbers that I've gotten from my calculations, what do they mean as far as the financial risk is concerned? So if the interest cover, I'm going to say interest C, is below one, confirm it indicates that this company is in trouble. We are not generating enough to pay back out, to pay back the interest. If it's above one, it can be okay. But in your discussion, you should also have commented for these ratios to also make further sense. We may have needed some comparatives, maybe prior year versus current year or industry averages. 
happy. So that's the calculation. Then the second part of commenting on the financial risks, I expected you to look at the terms of the debentures. The debenture is redeemed 30 September 2018. What does it tell you? It's going to be redeemed in the current year. So it means there's going to be needed to be a capital repayment, cash flow issues. Do we have the cash flow to settle? The bank overdraft is repayable on demand. Do we have the money? Anytime the bank can say, we want our money back and certain it. They can call any time. Again, increasing our financial risks. Again, the interest on the bank overdraft is based on the prime lending rate. What is this prime lending rate? From a principal perspective, you should know that this is a variable rate. And what is the risk of the variable rate? It can move up or it can move down. So if it moves up, that's a problem for us. Again, giving additional financial risks. So in conclusion for this question, what was fundamental for you to be able to properly answer this question was, do you know what is the financial risk? Financial risk for who? For the components division. I don't is that some of you started then to make use of information on the, on the new business opportunity. But the problem is this information had nothing to do with the components division. So was not relevant, so was irrelevant for the, as far as commenting on the financial risks facing the components division. So I would say the key takeaway from this question is, number one, make sure you understand the terms that are used in the requirement. Then number two, identify relevant information in the case study. Just don't think that all the information in the case study is relevant for you to be able to answer the question. So I hope this clarifies to those who might have struggled with the B, what was the expectation from attempting this question? Thank you.